Game two on Fireman's West, known as the Eldongo game of the week, but Eldongo failed to show up. Anyway, never again, and the Houston Colt 45s. Both teams one and two. Abe J flew out to right, then Uri Adler base hit, Nate Kush doing what he does best, donating drinks, getting base hits. There's two men on and one out. Edmund Dweck pops it up to the infield. Infield fly, batters out. And then T.I., look at this shot, great contact, beautiful short swing, goes way over Albert Cohen's head in left field. That's going to be a base clearing triple, two run score, and never again leads to nothing. That the man on third and two outs, Vamos Carlos gets punched out on the high strike, and that's the inning. Bottom of the first, Alco with speed, but routine ground ball to short, T.I. botches it. And out goes on with a leadoff single. Next batter, David Bukakoen lines out. That brings up the great one. That's past second base and past Alan Jamal in right field. Misplayed. So some terrible defense all around the diamond from never again. And Ali answers T.I.'s triple with a triple of his own. It's two to one. Man on first. Only one out. Steven Chalou comes. He's going to plate Ali. That's a fielder's choice to Uri Adler, who makes the throw across the diamond. Ruby Shalou up. Now two outs, nobody on. Very well placed. And look at the hustle from Ruby Shalou. Legs out a double on the well placed loop. Ike Mavora takes a walk. And suddenly, Houston in business again. But Jake Yogi Kassin sends the one hopper right back to Nab, who takes his time. It is two all as we enter the second. The aforementioned Nab leads off again with a smooth base hit to center field. Eddie Michon now batting. He's going to drive one to left, but Alco reaches back and makes the grab. Nabi retreats to first base. Sammy S says, look at this play. Deflected off Abe Zaka. Yeah. Allie Marshall, the bare hand, reaches with his leg to touch second and then throws from the awkward position with that famous cannon that he has. Look at this again. Sammy hits it well. Abe Zaka slows it down. Allie adjusts reaches look at that and look at the throw that he's throwing from from a knee and the famous alley marshall cannon double play beautifully done by the great one they be now settling down that saldine the weak contact now a ground ball to ti makes the play and then a slow grounder by Saul powell to sammy s's maybe settling down a quick one two three inning Two wall, top of the third. That's when this game got interesting. Here's Alan Jamal, a can of corn to center. Forehand. Backhand. Serve. Volley. Serve. Slice. Forehand. Backhand. Call. Elliot Greenberg. Forehand. Backhand. Serve. Volley. Serve, slice, forehand, backhand, call, Elliot Greenberg. And then that turns the lineup for Abe J. Cohen. He's going to rip a line drive. He's on first with a one-out single. Uri Adler of Bluestone Brokerage then gets another clean base hit. Abe J. is going to go to third. Uri on the throw takes second, great hustle, men on second and third. Only one out, Nate Kush. This is going to be a pop-up to the infield for the ever-important second out. The score is two all, two men on. Here's Edmund, rips a base hit. One run will score, and we think two runs will score, but Edmund is thrown out at second before Uri Where's he going? Adler scores. Where's he going? Now, we're going to have to break this one down because the scored. camera angle is not yeah, perfect, yeah, yeah. but we do know certain things. Here's Edmund hitting. Look at the mark in the sand where that line breaks up. That's basically two steps if you're running, three steps if you're jogging from the plate, and that's exactly where Uri Adler is when we last see the frame. He's right there. Pause it. Look above on the on top of your screen. Edmund is hustling and sliding. That's where the tag is. Uri is, if he's running, he makes it. But he is in complete jog mode. And it's it's an impossible, it's an impossible call to make if he was safe or out. 
Phil had the view of both guys, and he said that Uri slowed down, and Edmund was hustling into the tag, and he feels he made the right call. Without the benefit of having another camera that has the plate, this is the best that everyone could just deduce for themselves whether or not Uri crossed the plate or not. Either way, you're talking a split second. It was an extremely close play one way or the other, and the umpire had the best view of all. He's behind the plate. He sees the plate. He sees second base. He's the only one that could definitively make this call. He had the view. Either way, all agree Edmund shouldn't be running there and Uri should be running, not jogging. And these are the types of things that change games. This score should be 4-2 never again. But because Edmund ran and because Uri slowed up, it's only 3-2 and that's the third out of the inning. And here comes the Houston Colt 45. Albert Cohen leading off after the long delay to discuss if the run counted or not. And he whips a double. That's a leadoff man with speed on second base. Houston trails 3-2. to two. Here's David Bukako, and he gets punched out. Phil lost track of the count. He thought it was only strike two, so he's going to hear it from never again. Is that three, Phil? Everybody, relax and calm down. Relax and calm down. Okay, so Phil getting an earful from T.I. for being a little off, although T.I.'s own team was more than a little off, very off. Here's another misplay in right field. It's a ball that's got to be caught. It doesn't get caught. Everyone's going to advance. Another run scored. And suddenly we have a tie game. Remember, never again should have been up two with the inning still going. Instead, they were only up one. Now it's a tie game. Base it to A.J. Cohen. He's got a cannon, but the throw doesn't even come home. And the go-ahead run goes to Houston. Here's Ike Mavora just adding fuel to the fire with another hit. Men on the corners. But Jake Yogi Kassin finally puts an end to this ugly inning as Esses throws across the diamond. It is four to three, Houston. Top of the fourth, T.I. gets good wood, but straight to Alka, who makes the mini leaping grab. And then Carlos Abadi. This guy got shambled on the whiteboard show. My main man, vamos, Carlos, a triple. He's hitting unbelievably well for never again. That's a triple for Carlos. He's going to come home on this comebacker to Abe Saka. Abe Saka does find it and get an AB, but the game is all tied up at four. Eddie Michon rips one off of Ali's glove, deflects to Saul, beautiful play, and then Mavora with the scoop. This is a wonderful team play by Houston. Top five, a 4-4 game, a leadoff walk to Sammy S's. That should be killer with 10-1-2 coming up. But then we're going to go across the outfield with pop-ups. Alan Jamal, pop-up to left. Abe J. Cohen, pop-up to center. And then Uri Adler will bat against four outfielders. Blue skies here in Houston. Ruby playing the gap. Ruby, who's up with this alignment? Okay, Uri Adler batting. That's Saul on the right field line. Unbelievable. Okay, let's see. Pitch to Adler. Adler slides one up. This way. Saul makes the grab in right field. Saul. Grab the timing. Oh, that's a bomb. That's a bomb out of Alco. Holy cow. That's all the way to the fence. This is easily going to be a home run. A go ahead home run by Alco. Off of Navy. Houston leads 5 4. Let's go. Keep talking. Falco, what was the uh, talking? You saying keep talking? What, what, what was the chatter you were hearing? Give me a shot to relax. I got huh? settled in. Okay, you gotta get settled in. Everyone deserves a chance to. <laughs> Dude, keep hitting shots like that. You're gonna be very comfortable. Now, Jimbo gave up the last run of the Golani game Z, just now, Z, really? but it's credited to Yadid. Jimbo inherited that runner as Yadid got ejected due to a uh, controversial By Jimmy pitched? interference call. Jimmy came in and pitched and gave up the walk-off hit to wow. Eric Citrin. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. What happened to Abdo was uh, Joe G was trying to score from second on a tag up, and as he was rounding third, he collided with Butchie. 
Uh, that, interference. That's interference on the third baseman, automatic base, tie game. <laughs> so you could imagine how that went down. And uh, two ejections, one for Raw Dog and one for Maxi Deed. Oh, wow. Yes. What happens now? This is then awesome. Jimbo came in. No, not automatic suspension. We'll review. We'll review the details. Jimbo had to come in with the inherited runners yeah. and promptly gave up a hit to Eric Citrin. So you're out of town, Scope. AB now down 5 4, just gave up a home run. Bottom of the fifth to Alco. Mavora rips it up the middle. Uri Adler is there. And we have a one run game going to the sixth. It's the way we like it, Phil. It's the way we like it. It should be tied. It should be tied. CI saying it should be tied. Okay. I've never in my life seen that. Oh boy. My oh boy. It wasn't even close. I'm going to tell you it wasn't close. Abdo, what happened? I was already standing here when he got picked up. How are you? Just logical. Well, Bill, it wasn't going to third. Two of them already scored. But Edmund tried to go in the second. So he was probably watching that play. Oh, yeah, the score. I just scored. He hugged it out with ABJ. I can't let it go. Yeah. And then they saw the tag play. But the umpire said that the second runner did not score. Oh my god. I'm sure we appealed to Troy and uh, we asked him. Troy didn't see. Troy was looking over there. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Wow. Wow. Right. There's no play. The, the, the guy saw it. He's here. He's looking down here. How about this? Ed, he's saying Edmund beat Uri to second base when Uri was running from second home. Is that possible? That's not. It's, 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 we don't know what Uri was doing really. He could have stopped. He could have fucked. Yeah. Or he could have given a quote on an, an, an insurance policy. It was, uh, the guy scored by five feet and then he calls him out. So I've never seen anything like it in my life. I'm an idiot, basically, <laughs> is what it comes down to. Okay. We have the top of the six, Phil. Where are we? Uh, top six, one run game. Ape Saka. Nay Kush, that's a major league fly ball. Alco is there. Oh, a little drift. So he's saying Nevergan had multiple had chances multiple besides chances. for this. Even in game one. Even in game one, they had multiple chances. Score, error, terrible base. Come on, Ed. Now, Abdo, what brings you to this field and not the Golani field where Jimbo is playing? So. Before the season, before the whole, before you sent out the registration, Ali and I were talking. Uh huh. To be on the same team. Ali wanted me to be in the stat team. But you were not registered. I, it was before even registration. You know. Oh. So yeah. we're talking deep off season. Deep off season. I really it was Super Bowl. Super Bowl night. Okay. So. Stay on top of it. So it didn't work out, but then he took two of my cousins. You know, he took Stevie and Ruby, so I'm like, all right. Cool. How are they your cousins? Are your first cousins? No. No. So you're just, okay, one of these cousin cousins. We're all cousins. I mean, come on. Hey, focus, Ed. Right. We are complaining a lot. Let's go. Okay, look at Edmund showing the restraint and just asking for time to get set. That's all. Edmund rips one to right, and that falls. Okay, I did not read that correct at all. <laughs> okay, Q himself will now bat. If he buys a plane ticket, he can fly. T.I. into the gap, but Buka covers that gap, and now there's two outs for Carlos. Vamos. V vamos. You saw that yesterday, like seven inches. Oh, Pitch to Carlos, and he swings, he straightens this one out. It's deep, but Buka gets under it, and that's the inning. A big inning for Abe Sackett to navigate through. Yogi, the other way, easy play for Alan Jamal, one out. Difference in the game right now, and Alco blessed. Ape, you've been in this league a long time. A lot of panic after week one in Houston. <laughs> it's okay. It's a good thing I didn't retire. You almost, you usually start 0 and 2, like a lot of times. One year, I did. Come on, boys. Right. The, the get back year, you didn't. Not get back. Uh, Saldine, weak grounder to the right side. Nice speed out of Saldine. Look out, that's what I meant, the black. Yeah. 
Yeah. Right, start it up. Stay local. Stay local. You're the runner. Stay local. Dominated everybody in that uh, early September season. So we'll wait until the next little hat we slug in today. Well, it's an AB. You want to get him off? Oh, nice play, TI. Can he make this throw? Cannot. Another infield hit, Ray. Soul Powell, the batter against an AB. Soul, base hit. Slugging Soul. And it's two men on for Alco. Fastball, Alco, base hit off of T.I.'s glove. Dean's going to try to score, and he will. That's some Uri Adler insurance off the bat of Alco. Buka, that's deep to right. Allen retreating over his head. Over his head. Saul will score. It's a three-run game. Here comes Alco, and Houston leads by four. Here's the throw in. It's a home run, David Buka Cohen. A three-run blast, and Houston blows it open, 8-4. Buk, I've seen you hit some uh, blasts, Buka. That was more of a fly ball. You stopped before first base, but you're so fast that you just got her on the bases. Beautiful slide. Okay. Sounds good. So, Buka, you just bought some Uri Adler Bluestone Brokerage Insurance. A four run lead for Houston. What's going on here in Houston? After a one out hit and a walk, Abe Saka gets the final two men. Alan Jamal on a strikeout and Abe J. Cohen on a flyout. And Houston, a well earned sweep. They improved to two and two. And never again falls to one and three and have lost three games in a row heading into the Passover break.